Before we start our lesson today, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your blessing, for your kindness until today. Now, we want to start our math lesson. Please bless our heart and our mind so we can understand our lesson today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you. Amen. Okay, today we will continue our lessons in the second semester. For the first chapter in the second semester, we will learn about what is a magnet. Okay, apa itu magnet? Yeah, I think all of you has known what is magnet, and also all of you has known what are types of magnet and how it works okay and now we will learn about magnet okay now let's see this picture okay this is a picture of a crane which is lifting iron and steel ya jadi kita bisa lihat di sini ini adalah gambar crane yang sedang mengangkat besi dan juga baja Okay, why the crane can lifting iron and steel? Of course, because it has magnet inside. And then, can it lift rubber tires? Okay, if we have some question here, can crane lift rubber tires? Okay, apakah bisa mengangkat ban karet? Okay, uh, crane cannot lift rubber tires rubber tires why okay the reason we will learn in this chapter okay now let's learn about magnet okay let's see this picture here this is a picture of a stone but now let's see the uh, the stones yeah the stones can attract paper clips iron paper clips ya jadi ini ada segambar sebuah batu tetapi ada yang unik dari batu ini ya batu ini dapat menarik penjepit kertas yang terbuat dari besi ya what is this stone ya this stones we can call as load stone or also it's called natural magnet ya so this is one examples of natural magnet that we can call lodestone. Ya, jadi batu ini namanya adalah lodestone atau yang biasa juga disebut dengan magnet alami. Oke. Okay. But now, ya, magnet usually man-made, ya. For today, we can find man-made magnet. Jadi, pada masa sekarang ini kebanyakan itu adalah magnet hasil buatan manusia. Okay, this is some types of magnet that we can find around us. Uh, bar magnet, cylindrical magnet, U-shaped magnet, horseshoe magnet, circular or button magnet, and also ring magnet. Yeah, this is some types some types of magnet that we can find around us, and this is man-made magnet. Ini adalah Uh, magnet yang bisa kita temui di sekeliling kita dan ini merupakan magnet-magnet hasil uh, buatan atau ciptaan manusia. Oke, okay. if we know the sometimes the types of magnet, now we will learn about how should we handle magnet. Ya, yeah. how should we handle magnet? Oke, okay. there are some ways to us some things that we should take a note when we use magnet. Ya, ada beberapa hal yang harus kita perhatikan ketika kita menggunakan magnet. First, do not place magnet near television, computer, telepon, or card with magnetic strips. Ya, why? Okay, because if we place magnet near television, example, it will damage the television. Let's see this picture. Ya, it will damage the television. Jadi itu akan bisa merusak televisi, komputer ya atau benda-benda yang bisa yang mengandung magnet juga. Nah, jadi kita tidak tidak boleh meletakkan magnet di dekat 
uh, televisi tadi, komputer, telepon atau yang lain sebagainya ya. Do not place magnet near television, computer, telepon or card with magnetic strips. Next. Do not drop heat or applying heat to magnet. Ya. Do not drop, jangan menjatuhkan magnet. And then do not hit. And also do not applying heat to magnet. Why? Because it will make magnet become weaker. Ya, yeah, it will make magnet become weaker. Jadi itu akan mengurangi kekuatan magnet tadi. And then the third, we can use a magnet keeper. Ya, yeah, we can use a magnet keeper. When we use a magnet keeper, it will make the magnet strong. Ya. Yeah. Jadi itu akan menjaga kekuatan magnet tadi. And then, uh, can magnet pull or attract all materials? Yeah. We have learned before that magnet can attract iron and steel. Yeah. But can magnet attract all types of materials? Nah, sebelumnya kan kita sudah belajar kalau sudah tahu kalau magnet itu bisa menarik benda-benda yang terbuat dari besi ataupun baja. Nah, apakah kira-kira semua jenis benda itu bisa ditarik oleh magnet? Ya, apakah semuanya bisa ditarik oleh magnet tadi? Oke, okay, now let's see. This is some example of materials that make from iron and steel. Ya, iron and steel. This is some materials that can attract by magnet. Ya, jadi ini adalah beberapa contoh benda-benda yang terbuat dari besi yang bisa ditarik oleh magnet. Oke, okay. iron and steel are examples of mat magnetic materials. Ya, jadi benda-benda yang bisa ditarik oleh magnet tadi, contohnya iron and steel itu disebut sebagai magnetic materials. Oke, okay. the pull of magnet on magnetic materials is called magnetic force of attraction. Ya. The pull of magnet on magnetic materials is called magnetic force of attraction. Okay, so when uh, magnet attract magnetic materials, it will make pull of magnet on the magnetic materials, and it's called magnetic force of attraction. Okay, this is magnetic materials, but some types of objects cannot attract by magnet ya. Ada benda-benda yang bisa ditarik oleh magnet tetapi ada juga benda-benda yang tidak bisa ditarik oleh magnet. Nah, benda itu apa saja? Oke, okay, let's see ya. Magnet cannot attract non-magnetic material. What is examples non-magnetic materials? Ya. The examples of non-magnetic non-magnetic materials is the object that made by paper, glass, plastik, rubber, wood, and etc. Ya, jadi benda-benda yang terbuat dari kertas, plastik, kayu, kaca itu tidak bisa ditarik oleh magnet. And it's called non-magnetic material. Ya, non-magnetic material. So, magnetic materials is materials that can attract by magnet. Ya, jadi Uh, magnetic material itu adalah benda-benda yang benda magnetik yang bisa ditarik oleh magnet. But non magnetic material is materials that cannot attract by magnet. Oke, okay. that's about our lesson today. This is your exercise for today from page 90 do number one and number two. Oke. Okay. That's all about our lesson. Thank you for your attention. Good morning. Now, to end our lesson today, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your blessing. Now, we have finished our lesson today. Please bless lesson that we have learned Please bless us so we can understand and do our exercise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.